Hey there, it's Mario here and in this video you're gonna learn how fast should you aim to lose fat without losing any muscle. So this is a very critical point of designing any fat loss diet. So you choose how fast you wanna aim for your result how fast you wanna get there. And there's many different methods, many different approaches, and I personally don't agree with most of what's out there, even from the experts themselves, even from like, especially the mainstream, which is a complete bunch of nonsense. So in this video, what I wanted to give you guys is kind of a blueprint. Like my thought process, my whole design process when it comes to dieting, how fast I aim for losing fat, how fast I get my clients to lose fat, and my approach, and I'm gonna go a little bit of like that Ben Franklin method on you guys, like uh, pros and cons of each method of like a slower cut, faster cut, what you should look out for, and pretty much give you a greater understanding of why certain things work the way they do. So there's been a lot of numbers thrown out there on the internet of how fast one can lose fat without losing muscle. And specifically by numbers, there was one that was quite famous coming out of the Minnesota starvation experiment where they took a bunch of guys, they put them on a starvation diet. So they came to a conclusion that one can only be in a deficit of about 31 calories per pound of fat mass. So 31 calories, multiply that like 31 times whatever fat mass you have in pounds and that is your caloric deficit, like your maximum caloric deficit without losing muscle. But that whole study and that whole thing is completely unapplicable for what we are trying to do because those guys didn't do any strength training, they were starved, their protein intake was horrible. I mean, it just doesn't apply. And these numbers are being thrown out there by guys and they're not telling you why the fuck these numbers even exist. And what is the kind of the demographic, the character for people who were experimented on, right? So it really doesn't apply to us. And I see a lot of guys make this mistake. They use that number and maybe a number of like, I think 22 calories per pound. I mean, both of these are quite wrong and they don't just simply apply for people who train people who diet properly, you have your calories, you have your macros, you have your training, I mean, it just doesn't apply, right? So what does apply? Well, look, to be losing fat, we know that we need to be in a sustained caloric deficit. Then we know that we need to eat high protein. We know that we need a good training plan to prevent muscle loss. So the question is, what should be your deficit? So what you should aim for? What is kind of the loss? Like, what is the percentage of body weight you wanna aim for losing every single week? And one really good study on this was done in 2011, and they compared on elite athletes, on people who actually train, what happens if someone is aiming to lose about 0.7% of body weight per week versus 1.4 plus around that like 1.5% of body weight per week. And the results were quite fascinating. A lot of experts will still draw results out of this study to kind of go for that slower cut approach, which I'm gonna tell you guys the pros and cons for so you know what you should expect and you can kind of choose for yourself at the end of the video. So when this study, what they kind of find out was simply, okay, if you don't go for a very hard caloric deficit, if you don't go too aggressive, they went about, I think there was like 300, calorie de 300 calories deficit, you will lose a decent amount of fat and you might even build a little bit of muscle. So that was the conclusion of the study. And what I found more fascinating was that the group that lost twice as much as fat, the group that went aggressive, didn't lose any muscle, right? They didn't build any muscle, that's fair, but they also didn't lose any muscle. And this got me thinking a little bit, why are all these people advocating slow cuts? I mean, what is the deal with the slow cut? Because if you look at it realistically, what, is the, what are the pros and cons of a slow cut? Well, look, the pros, Simple, you know, you don't lose any muscle, you actually build a little bit of muscle, you have a little bit of higher calories, and it's perfect, most likely for natural bodybuilders or competitors, or someone who's planning to go on a stage. And someone maybe who likes dieting, you know, that would be like the only category of people, someone who likes to be on a diet for a very long time. But let's say you wanna get fast results. I mean, slow cut is definitely not for you. And Let's say, what are the cons? I mean, psychologically, you need to be on a diet for like 20 weeks, like 16 to 24 weeks if you wanna get meaningful results if you're coming at, at that range of like 14 to 16% body fat, right? You need to be on a diet for a very long time. And the cons of that are, first, you need to focus on food for a longer time, which is super annoying. Like you need to actually 
account for your calories and the longer you diet the body adapts your metabolism adapts and all these things so it's just annoying right it's annoying to be on a diet for like 24 weeks like 16 24 weeks right that's the first con the second con is that if you fuck up because you're in a, such a small deficit that if you fuck up you probably won't lose any weight that week so that's the second con right the another thing is that simply the fact that you're in a diet you're not building muscle like you're not getting your body in a prop, proper environment like with decent amount of calories to build enough muscle so that's the third con right and we can name a few of other ones which is simply that you're you're just gonna i don't know you're just gonna feel bad about just like all the psychological effects because you're on a diet non-stop you have to restrict yourself and all these things like it's really hard to maintain cognitive restriction for like 16 24 weeks and compare that to a rapid approach which i'm kind of the proponent of simply you focus on one single fucking thing, which is fat loss for eight to 12 weeks, right? For most guys out there, if you're a little bit more fat, you will need 12 weeks. And for guys that are less fat, who are just about that 14, 15% uh, range, I mean, you should be aiming for like eight to 10 weeks. And what I mean by that is that you should be losing about 1.5% of body weight per week. And most of that, if not all, will be fat loss because you are training hard, you're getting your high protein, and you're getting that proper diet in, right? You're eating your enough fiber, you're not missing any macro, like micronutrients, like you're getting in your water. I mean, you do it fairly optimized and you can lose a ton of fat very, very fast. And what this allows you is kind of that flasher approach, you know, you just kind of rip it off, bam, fat is gone focus on building muscle. And that allows you to spend more time in that muscle building phase, which is more enjoyable, you're gonna build more strength, build more muscle. It's gonna allow you to actually enjoy life a little bit more because let's say even on a, on a rapid cut where you're losing that amount. So that's, we are talking about a deficit of like 500 to 800 calories a day, depending on how much you need to be in a deficit to gain that, to lose that 1.5% of body weight per week. I mean, that's very individual as well. So. Once you figure out what the numbers are to lose that amount per week, then even if you fuck up, like think about it, even if you fuck up a little bit on some days, you will still be able to get some results, right? You will still be able to get a decent amount of results even if you fuck up. And that's the point, right? You will still see the psychologically you're gonna be more motivated because you're gonna be seeing yourself in a mirror losing fat every single week and it's gonna be very meaningful very measurable very easy to see contrast that to that slow cut approach which i mean realistically losing about like a couple of hundred grams of fat per week you don't see much of a difference right it's more like maybe Maybe like after three weeks, you notice a difference. But here, you're going to be like, holy shit, I'm just getting leaner and leaner. And even if you do lose a little bit of muscle, most people don't know that you regain your muscle very, very fast. Like you can regain your muscle mass extremely fast because of the muscle memory effect. When you start fe feeding your body, bam, you get that back, right? You will get that all of that back. Even if you really fuck up, if you don't do it properly, you will regain all of your muscle within two or three weeks, right? When you get into that maintenance, in a little bit of a caloric surplus, when you go for a lean gaining phase, you will regain all your muscle. And that is my approach. My approach is go for a rapid cut, eight to 12 weeks, aim to lose about 1.5% of body weight per week, get your high protein, train hard, progress in the gyms, keep adding weight, train with a decent amount of volume, compound lifts, obviously to progress faster, to get more volume in and get the proper amount of calories and that will get you to your goal much much faster because what i hate seeing is that there's too many guys in that gray zone what i mean by the gray zone is a guy who's not cutting he's not bulking so the guy is just between so he's not doing one or another and what happens really is that guy his body doesn't change like his body changes so fucking slow that it's not meaningful like you can't see any progress in like years and years of training you're the same instead what you need is simply that goal. Like let's say a goal is like rapid fat loss. You lose a ton of fat. You then look at least leaner. So you have that starting point of looking leaner and you can get that done within like, as I said, eight to 12 weeks. And at that point, you start building muscle. You focus on that, on lean gaining. So gaining about a percent to 1.5% of body weight per month. And then you're gonna see much faster results. Like you were gonna see your body completely changing 
like in front of your own eyes, when you look in the mirror and you're going to be like, holy shit, I've been in that fucking gray zone, which is kind of that calor caloric uh, intake where you're not really going for anything really. And, and that's the problem, right? You need to go for something. You need to commit to something. Committing to a goal, either fat loss or muscle gain, will get you those results faster because time is running out. Time is ticking, right? So when you commit, you also focus. Having a goal means simply to focus on something. So when you focus on it, you will get there faster. Like instead of years, we're talking about months, right? We're talking about within one year instead of like three years, where three, four years if you go for a recomp, right? So this is the approach that I found works best for me, for most of my clients. And the beauty of it is that once you lean down for the first time, the second time, because you're lean gaining, you're not like doing a, some kind of massive bulk where you just regain all the fucking fat back. You're just eating to get that 1 to 1 1.5% of body weight per month. So you're not overeating because all that will go to fat. So you will never really lose that leanness because you're still going to have your six pack. And when you reach that top end of like body fat, you say, oh, let's do a mini cut again. And then you do a mini cut. And that mini cut is not eight to 12 weeks anymore. It's only four to six weeks, right? So you're no longer needed to be on a diet. And that's the whole fucking point. Like you don't need to be on a diet for a very long time because you can just do mini cuts. You don't need to do long cuts anymore. And basically to summarize the whole bottom line here is really go for that rapid fat loss, set up your system, focus Focus on rapid results, get that 1 to 1 1.5% of body weight loss per week, train hard, get your high protein, get a caloric deficit, sustain that, and you can maintain that super focused effect for like 8 to 12 weeks, get lean, then go build muscle, build muscle, build muscle, build muscle, build muscle, then do a mini cut, build muscle, build muscle, build muscle, and that is it. So that is the approach. That is kind of the long-term thinking picture. That is something that is going to get you results faster. Hope you guys enjoyed this, got value out of this. Let me know in the comments below, are you currently dieting? Is your goal currently to lose fat? So leave that in the comments below. Let me know if that is your current goal. Let's share some ideas on that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click subscribe below to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.